Hi there, that's me, those are my hands, and this is my model Anna. She is a tattoo artist, and you can see on the background her draft. Actually, I don't know what I will cut today, I just trust my hands. I hope they know what they are doing, so the process will determine the result. Let's watch what is going on here. It seems that hands are taking the volume off in the top zone, so it was possible to lay it more texture. Oh, as you can see, my hands are pulling each subsequent strand to the previous one. They decided to make it flat in the top zone. I think that's a good solution, but let's wait the result. Okay, moving on the sides. It looks like it too will be layered without any volume gain. As all the next rounds are pulled up to the first rounds, there will be a sharp increase in length from face to nail. I don't know why it is, could be done softer, but okay, let it be. Probably have to wait for the result to understand this idea. Okay, time for the back of the head, back of the head. Here the hands are drawing the flat again to remove the volume line. This will be great for wearing the hair texturally and growing it out. I think this haircut will grow out to something like this. So what do we have here? Oh, that's easy, put the top and the sides together. The bangs. I don't think there is anything to do. It's fine as it is. But let's look what the hands decided to cut. Actually, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but okay, okay. Okay, but what's that for? Oh, I see, it's just a design element continue the line of the banks. Without that element the haircut would look soft, but it's a little rougher element and the haircut becomes brighter. Good decision or not? We can understand only in the result. By the way, here it is.